Adala Art Gallery brought together four of Trinidad and Tobago's most talented young artists for an exhibition titled The Things We Keep. Attendees were treated to a highly engaging display of artwork that was as mesmerizing as it was unconventional. Meet Jamie Lee Loy, one of the featured artists who uses her craft to tackle social issues, especially those affecting women and children. This work, which is called Little Girl, The Things We Keep, is actually an art therapy exercise. Um, I run a program that I, I work with kids from underserved communities and hire art therapists. And so art therapy is something that we, we do quite a bit. And in this exercise, you're asked to talk to your former self, like your inner child, at a particular point in your life that maybe you've experienced some trauma or something that you're trying to resolve. And you have to actually talk to that part of yourself. Jamie describes herself as a conceptual artist, meaning she comes up with ideas before knowing which media she'll use for creation. As a result, her art takes the form of video installations, photography, performances, paintings, and sometimes even storybooks. I'm hoping that through that storybook, that through people reading it, they might connect with it in some way. They might be encouraged to speak to their little girl or boy. I've done work on domestic violence already, where I've actually worked with real flowers. I stripped real flowers and I created a huge insect on your wall. But when you walk into the exhibition that I did with the flowers, your first feeling is, oh, this is beautiful. And then you realize it's a huge insect and then you, you're kind of repulsed by it. And that psychological dynamic of being attracted to and being afraid of or repulsed by at the same exact time. Nadia Huggins is a Trinidadian born in Vincent who primarily channels her art via photography. A featured work was titled Transformations and Ghost Lines. Uh, I've been basically documenting uh, marine life and doing self-portraits for about three years now. Um, I've been trying to explore any like, relationship between um, my own body and um, being in these types of environments and the kind of tension that exists. Um, between trying to basically merge with these two worlds. Nadia uses her art as a form of self-expression and exploration of her personal and Caribbean identity. I've been doing photography for about 14, 13 years now. Um, and in the beginning it was very kind of gritty and textured and I used to do a lot of heavy editing on my images. And I'm kind of moving away from that slightly now. I think I'm more interested in very nuanced kind of ideas like a lot of um, body language, um, kind of um, things that make, things that we kind of associate with what is Caribbean, like what is that Caribbean aesthetic. But I think to me the biggest challenge is probably finding the courage within myself to allow, to allow the work to be vulnerable and to let people see that. Alicia Milne is a multidisciplinary artist that mostly works in ceramics. She uses locally found items and materials to create her pieces. Uh, well, all the work I have in this exhibition is made from local and found materials. For example, uh, wood, discarded chairs, old mirrors, shells, um, local clay, coconut oil, things like that. Alicia is heavily involved in art education, being a teacher at the secondary school level and her CU on Sunday program. See You on Sunday is an um, art collective co-founded by myself and two other artists, Nikolai Noel and Luis Vasquez Laroche. Um, we primarily have a strong educational focus. We started as an art and critical theory reading group. And with the support of Alice Yard, which is an art space in Woodbrook on Robert Street, um, they have allowed us to expand our activities into a range of programming geared for local artists. The stars of the evening all shared words of encouragement for young and aspiring artists in Trinidad and Tobago. So all I could say is if it's something that you're really, really into, you really know that you want to do it, you will find a way. Make smart decisions, have a plan B, you know, find a way to get your financial stability while you do what you love. Once you remain kind of true to your ideas and maintain some kind of integrity with the work, when try to maintain some kind of like social responsibility in what you're doing to some extent, like you'll be able to go very far with what you do. The Things We Keep took place on March 23rd.